Hey all, sorry for the boring gray background. Couldn't find a better wall. I uh, wanted to pop on really quick because I'm getting a lot of calls from our multifamily clients because we do a lot of apartment business, uh, buying and selling apartments for our clients and friends and uh, everybody's kind of freaking out over the new California rent control, which is AB 1482, the bill that was just signed by the governor this last week. And it's got main chunks to it. I'm not going to get granular about it, but I'm going to talk about its effect, its scope, uh, the allowable rental increases, and how you can get a tenant out evictions. If you have multifamily property or apartments already in a rent, local rent control area like LA City being one of the largest in the state, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, there's about 12 to 14 around the state that have some form, some very minor, LA City being the largest, you are not going to likely be affected by the statewide rent control because statewide rent control specifically states that if your local rent control is the same or more protective to the tenant, then you'll be subject to the local rent control. So for instance, one of the big pieces and highlights of the statewide rent control is allowable rental increases. You cannot increase a tenant now beyond 5% plus inflation. Okay, so uh, for your local area. So for instance, if you're in Bakersfield, no rent control in Bakersfield, you have multifamily property that's subject to the, to the new bill, uh, you will now be able to increase by 5% plus inflation. Inflation out there is like 3.2%, something like that. So it would be 8.2% is what you can increase the tenant. Never more than 10% is a cap, um, annual cap. And that is actually retroactive to March 1st of 2019 and increases March 1st, 2019, because the state didn't want you kind of rushing and increasing everybody's rent to death and then starting the ordinance because that would defeat the purpose. Uh, the effective date of the ordinance is January 1st. It runs for 10 years till January 1st, 2030. So it's January 2020, January 2030, unless it is renewed by the legislature. So that is the rental increases. The second piece of it talks about evictions. When can you get a tenant out? There is now statewide rent control. If you are subject again to local rent control, you're already aware of this and you already have just cause eviction reasons. Now you do on a statewide level. You can only kick a tenant out for certain defaults, normal defaults you'd think, nuisance defaults, uh, failure to do this or that, violations of lease, default in rental payments that are not cured in the, in the time prescribed, etc. There's also no, no fault just cause evictions, which are you want to move in, move a certain family member in, and there's certain relocation fees and notices required for that. So that's the second piece now that you will now be subject to. The third is, does it apply to me? I have a single family house, let's say, or condo or townhome, and I lease these out. I'm just a mom and pop, like normal people, and I just lease these out for rental property. Does it apply to me? No, it does not. It only applies if for single family condos, townhomes that are not multifamily, it only applies to you if you're a corporation, an LLC, or a REIT. Now, that is going to be probably the subject of some dispute in the coming future because what if I have a, a mom and pop company where I own three, four, seven, eight homes uh, in a, a corporation's name? I'm still mom and pop. That was the intent was to hit the large corporations that have bulk housing. Um, so that's going to be subject to dispute, but I thought I'd point that out. Right now, as it states, as it states sits, excuse me, uh, single family residents, condos, and townhomes are not going to be subject to it. So what if I own a duplex? Duplex have normally been subject to rent control locally in LA city. Is it subject to, you know, if I'm not in LA, is am I now subject to this statewide if I own a duplex? You are not if you live in one. If you don't live in one, you're subject to it. So if you live in one of the two units in the duplex, you are not subject to this statewide rent control. Okay. Uh, now, the last piece is which properties does it apply to as far as age? Now, if you're under LA rent control, there's certain types of properties that were through certificate of occupancy or the date it was completed, the construction is a certain date or before you are subject to it. If it's after that date, you're not. So new properties. Statewide rent control, if it is 15 years old, okay, or more, it's subject to it. Okay, so let me explain how that works. January 1st, 2020, the statewide rent control takes effect. 15 years before that is January 1, 2005. Any property built before January 1, 2005, in 20, as of 2020, will be subject to the California rent control. In 2021, it'll be any property built 2006 and before. 2022, 2007, it's a rolling stepping up over the 10 year period of the bill. That's the bill. Personally, I have my own reason, feelings about that the bill is not going to do anything to solve 
the problem, the affordability problem with housing in California. I'll get, if you'd like to discuss it, I have many reasons why, and I could talk to you about that. I don't, I, I, I understand the reasons for it. I understand the attempt to do it, but it is, what it's technically going to do essentially is try to reduce people's uh, uh, developers return on investment. They'll stop building because the investment is just not there anymore because I'm capped on the rent that I can charge. We can argue about that all day long. I'm happy to talk to you about it, and I have certain reasons why. I also am hopeful that this bill uh, will help because there is a massive unaffordability crisis, in the, specifically in the rental market throughout California. Uh, tertiary markets, secondary markets, real urban areas by far, and some rural areas as well. Uh, it, it's becoming very unaffordable. Um, so I am hopeful. In most cases, though, so you can understand, this will not hurt you very much. Especially if you are in a local rent control area in California right now, specifically LA and those kinds of areas, you will not be subject to this rent control likely for the whole term of it. Okay, so you'd likely have nothing to worry about. I'm happy to have, help you analyze it, look at your investment, determine if it is going to apply to you, my opinion on it, uh, if it is what it's going to do to your cash flow in the future, your, maybe your exit value if you decide to sell it. That's what we do. I'm happy to help you with that too. If you want to reach out, I'll put my contact info below. I just want to pop on and give you this because it's easy because I'm getting calls all the time, probably five or six a day. And I thought I'd just send them this video now and uh, hopefully it was helpful to you. All right, take care.